Are you looking to maintain your iron and sulfur well water filtration system at your home cottage or cabin for your family? Not sure where to start? Want some advice from the pros? Relax, this video's for you. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. Today, I'm being joined by Matthew from our tech team, and he's gonna help me share with you what you need to do to maintain your air over media iron and sulfur filter for your family. By the end of this video, you'll know where to start, what you'll need to do the work, how to do the work, and how often, and what you should definitely not do to make sure you maintain the system like a pro. Really, the first step is knowing what make and model iron and sulfur filter that you have. Now, although they're basically the same, there are some different nuances with some of the different makes and model. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to do the maintenance on a clock, air over media iron and sulfur filter because it's the best in the business. Now many manufacturers use the same clack valve for their air over media iron and sulfur filters. We use them for our Hume water filtration products, but they're also used by companies like Nelson, Water Depot, and a whole bunch of others. How do you know if your system uses the clack valve? Well, it's pretty simple. Just look at the top. Don't look at the faceplate, look at the top. So what you need to look for is the, the bypass valve itself. So the bypass valve, look for the two red handles. Now, that doesn't mean that it's a clock valve yet. What you need to look for is that the two red handles on the top for the bypass are pointy at one side and splayed out like a V on the other end. Basically, they look like an arrow. If they're red and they look like arrows, it's a clock valve. And I've included some links in the description down below that takes you right to the replacement parts that you need to do the maintenance on your air over media iron and sulfur filter. FOB, FOC, FOK iron and sulfur filters. What is it? Why would anyone want one? Air over media to help remove iron from your water, to remove the iron from your water, or if you have sulfur to get rid of that stinky sulfur smell. We'll do both? Some of them will do both, yes. Yeah. Almost all of them will do both. Why is it a good idea to have one of these? It's great, uh, chemical free, and almost next to no maintenance. How often do you have to change the filters in these? There is no filter that you need to change. The only thing that you might need to change is the injector inside of it. Yeah. Every every couple of years, or and depending on your iron content coming into your house, yeah, maybe I, a little bit sooner the higher the iron you have, maybe a little bit less the lower your iron is. Yeah, and it's very dependent on how much iron you have in your water, right? So what's the difference between FOB, FOC, and FOK? It's the media that's on the inside of it. Yeah, there's a, a bit of a process to deciding uh, which is the best uh, one for your situation, right? And again, I've got a YouTube video that goes through the whole process of deciding which one's the best. And again, if you need help, we can definitely help you with that. Send us an email, info at waterestore.com, and we can help you sort out which one uh, would be the best for you and, and for your family. How often do they need to be maintained? About once a year, maybe, uh, or every couple of years, depending on your iron content coming in. Yeah, so so yesterday we were at a place, remember, and they had a, an FOB, I think it was. Yep. Um, and they, I think it was two or three years old. Yep. So, yep, so we needed to clean the injector. So we needed to shut the water off to the unit yeah. and uh, put it into bypass. Yeah. And then uh, hit the regen button up here to relieve the pressure from it. And then unscrew this cap to get access to the injector and then remove it. And there was a bit of iron build up there. So we had to clean it out. And uh, the best thing to use well, that we like to use is a little bit of CLR uh, on a rag. And then uh, you just clean out the inside of it. I normally don't try to clean the injector because it's such a, a cheap part. It's just better to replace it yeah. so that you know your, your unit's working properly again. Are these guys, yeah. Yep. And then uh, you pop that back in. You put uh, silicone grease again on the top, uh, on the, the O-ring. And then you put it back together and then you uh, turn the water back on and put it back into service. Yeah, so if you were cleaning the injector, right? Yep. You need to clean out the hole in the middle, right? Yes, so best thing would be a toothpick and uh, a Q-tip. And you in a bit of time because it's going to take you time to do it. What about a paper clip? No, you wouldn't want to use a paper clip. And why wouldn't you want to use a paper clip? Because you might gouge the inside. And Make you, the hole larger than it's supposed to be. Yeah, and you don't want to do that. No, and then you're going to have problems, right? What other maintenance might you have to do on it? You might have to clean it every couple of years. And uh, we've done that before where we introduce a little bit of bleach to it by removing the part where the air gets sucked in. And uh, we have a special attachment where we can hook it up so that it sucks in the bleach and then have the bleach run over the media and it just gives it a little bit deeper of a clean. Yeah, so I have a YouTube video that explains the whole process and uh, and like I say, it, it's very straightforward. But again, only do it when you're really having uh, some concerns. It's, it's really not a maintenance thing. 
It's more a troubleshooting or yeah. repair you yeah. know, kind of thing. And again, we talked about cleaning the media. And again, like I say, I've got a YouTube video that goes through that whole process. I'm sure you're noticing I've got a YouTube video for just about everything at this point. But, uh, <laughs> well, you do. <laughs> but, but, yeah. Now, if you're looking for more information about our Hume Air Over Media Iron and Sulfur filters that use the clack valve, you can go to our website, either watereastore.com in the US or watereastore.ca in Canada. We offer free shipping and discount pricing. Click this link for more iron and sulfur videos, and I'll see you there. Any questions or comments, add them down below.